This is Feral Free Plays, my free-to-play Roblox account who is not allowed to buy Robux. My goal is to grow up my Adopt Me inventory in just 30 days. The rules for this challenge is 1. No spending Robux. 2. I have a 2 hour time limit to play each day. And 3. Yes, I am allowed to find trades online. With all of that out of the way, welcome to my free to play Noob to Pro Adopt Me challenge. Hello everyone, it is day 12 and it is also day 9 of the Fossil Isle event. So this challenge so far we've done so much. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, I highly recommend that you watch yesterday's video before you watch today's video. Yesterday we did so much trading, we did three massive trades on Tradery, and we are so much richer because of that. And today we are going to do pretty much the same thing, but also kind of not the same thing. So we are going to mine like we always do, we are going to do some potion trades, we are going to do some other trades, and just keep building up our inventory slowly but surely, hoping for the end goal of like a really, really good inventory. So I did get asked, why am I doing this challenge and why did I do this challenge last year as well? So the answer is because I see so many people begging in, in game, they're like, I want pets, I'm poor, blah, 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 blah. But I always thought, well, how hard actually is it to start a new account and do really, really good. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But anyways, this is what our inventory looks like at the start of the video. And we're going to make another pet. We're going to make a Ankylosaurus pet. That is our seventh Ankylosaurus pet of the challenge. And back to what I was saying a minute ago, it is so easy to start a new account. And I really wanted to prove to all those people that just beg in Adopt Me that it is easy. And it is way easier than just begging because like usually when they beg it takes forever f for like even one person to give them one pet and i'm like well what if i can do the same thing but not beg and instead start all over again just like them and start from scratch and this is what i'm doing so i'm proving that in just 30 days i can build a really good inventory better than most players in adopt me so yeah, that's the whole reason why I'm doing this challenge, because I wanted to prove that I can do it, that I can make a good inventory in just 30 days, instead of just begging. I hate that. I hate when people beg. If, if you see a beggar, tell them to watch this video, because this video proves, and, and this entire series proves, that they can make a whole lot of profit starting off with nothing. Starting off with just your starter egg, you can get all the way up to as good as I am, and even better, which is two hours of work for 30 days. That's nothing. So, next we're going to make another pet. We're going to make the Ultra Rare Pet. This is our fourth Ultra Rare Dinosaur Pet of the challenge so far. Next up, Potion Trades. We are trading potions for a Dotted Eggy, which I completely missed this year's Easter event. I'm not sure why, but I just wasn't really playing during that time. So, we got a Dotted Eggy. Pretty cute, it is a rare pet, so that's really good for a potion trade. That's awesome. So, also at the very end of this series, I'm gonna show how many potions I traded and all the pets that I got just from the potions. That'll be a pretty interesting graphic as well. Last year, I think I traded like close to 200 potions and got like 90 something pets or something. That's absolute, no, not 90 something, like 40 something pets, but there were some pretty good pets in there as well, so I'm just so excited to see that at the very end of the series on day 31. Also, in case I haven't told you, this challenge is a 30-day series, one day for each day of the month, but May has 31 days. So on the 31st day of May, I'll be doing kind of like a recap of like how I got all the items, and what's the best way to get rich and adopt me, and so on. So stay tuned for that video and subscribe so that you guys can see that video as well. Next up, this trade's pretty good. We are trading potions for a haunted wagon. The haunted wagon is an uncommon car from the Halloween update. It is a very cute car, I do have to say. For an uncommon car, it's really cute. This is a steal. We did really good on this trade. Uh, also, we did get two random free pets in this video. I'm not sure how, but I didn't notice until like after. So yeah, thank you to whoever gave me those two free pets. So in that trade that I just did, I traded something. Um, I traded the waffle wagon for an urban egg. Now the urban egg is like, I don't know, uh, 
I'm not sure if it was the last egg or if it was the egg before that, but the urban egg is cute. It is out of game egg. It has some good pets in it. So there is some value for that. And hopefully I can trade it for a profit either in today's video or later on in the series. So back to the mines. We keep mining every single day and we want to make sure that we get every single fossil and get that free sticker pack every day. I do want to tell you guys that it is very crucial to do all of this every day. Because at the end you'll have, um, you'll have 14 sticker packs. That may not sound like a lot, but I'm telling you it is a lot. Those sticker packs really come in handy when you just want to add certain small little things at the end. And I love those sticker packs so much. I don't ever open them, but they are worth it. And speaking of the haunted wagon from earlier, I'm trading the uncommon haunted wagon, which I got for potions, for a RGB box and that other box thing, the regal chest. The regal chest has the petware accessories in them, and the petware accessories refresh um, let's see, when y'all are watching this video, it had just happened, but when I recorded this, uh, it was still like, uh, four or five days away. So, we got another Neon Velociraptor, thanks to the two times weekend, so we are pretty set for the challenge. This is awesome, only a few more Velociraptors to go, three more until I can make another Neon. I am so, so proud that I've been able to make this many Velociraptors full grown during this time. Our next trade is the Urban Egg, which we got earlier for an Ice Cream Hermit Crab. The Ice Cream Hermit Crab, I believe, was from Summerfest last year. Um, I did play, but I spent all of my currency on the Leviathan pets. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we got that. Next up, we got our Ultra Rare Pet. And we're going to put in, let's see, a Brachiosaurus Fossil. So, let's make a Brachiosaurus. That is our 19th Brachi... No... That is our 17th Brachiosaurus pet of this entire series, so that's pretty good. Now we've got four of the Ultra Rare pets as well. Uh, I was considering making them neon, but this is the last day of the two times weekend. Um, so, yeah, I kind of thought I should hang on to them, maybe try and trade them for something better. But anyways, this is the last layer of, of the mines, so let's go ahead and wrap this up and make our final pet of the video and collect a free fossil sticker pack which you do every single day and the fossil sticker pack is what we do we claimed our fossil sticker pack and then we're going to the machine over here we actually don't have anything to put into the machine because it's still 15 more minutes but anyways yeah we've done pretty good for today's video today we got four fossil sticker packs we are doing good on aging our pets, and we just have a few more trades left of today's video, and then we'll call it quits for today. But yeah, we've done so well. Um, I am doing my tasks in between mining and trading every single day. I don't ever miss a task because we do need bucks more than anything else. Next up, we have our paint sealer, which we got from the lure box on day 9. Today's day 12. And we're trading that paint sealer for two ultra rare pets, an ultra rare hamster, and a king penguin pet. That is awesome. The hamster is a relatively new pet. I think it's only a few weeks old. So I'm super excited that we got it. Its value is still high. Hopefully we can trade that up for something better in the future. But yeah, I'm just so happy that we got that. Next trade is a whole bunch of potions for this human bubble car. Um, yeah, on my main account I have like 20 of these cars. So um, I, I'm not really a fan. Have I used it before? Probably not, but I have it, so maybe I can trade it in the future. I don't ever see myself using that, but yeah. Next up, we have our first tradery trade of the video and our 10th tradery trade for the whole challenge, and we are doing pretty good. We are trading four, four of these um, ultra-rare dinosaur pets for four yetis. In case you guys care, these yetis are worth about a snow owl each. They're from the same Christmas update as the Snow Owl, but so many people bought the Snow Owl that the Yetis have such a high demand and a high value because of that, because there's so few of them that were ever bought. So yeah, this was a very successful trade, one of the better trades in this video, and that just about wraps up today's video. So let's take a look at our inventory this year compared to last year. Last year, our inventory was pretty decent. We had a Shark, Ancient Dragon, Golden Walrus, and a Diamond Griffin, and this is what our inventory looks like this year. Now let's compare them to the Adami Trading Values website, 
And according to that, our inventory this year is way better. Pretty much just because of the Yetis. The Yetis have definitely saved us in this challenge. Also, we have 17 of the legendary dinosaur fossil so that means tomorrow we can make another legendary dinosaur so thank you guys so so much for watching i appreciate the support during this challenge and i will see you guys right back here for day 13 goodbye